to run, to rejoice, to embrace every moment that comes your way. It's your life, and it's our passion to care for it. Sanford Health. Health lives here. A day of fun had a very serious purpose at a Sioux Falls business over the weekend. How this event at the Barrel House will help provide more hot meals for Kelloland students in need. Plus, ice cream is a hot commodity in these waning days of summer. You'll meet a Mitchell businesswoman who's putting a new spin on the old-fashioned ice cream truck. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday morning. We also have an exciting list of boredom busters coming up for you. But first, three people died and two children were hurt in a fiery crash west of Sioux Falls Saturday. The Highway Patrol says a car going eastbound on South Dakota Highway 42 crossed the center line Saturday afternoon and crashed into a westbound pickup. The pickup caught fire after the crash. Two men in the pickup, ages 57 and 44, died. A woman driving the car also died. Two boys in the car, ages 5 and 10, were taken to the hospital with serious non-life-threatening injuries. Troopers are investigating the cause of that crash. Two missing South Dakota prison inmates are back in custody this morning. Tanasha Stricker and Christy First in Trouble left their community service job in Pier without permission on Friday. Rosebud Tribal Police caught the pair on Saturday. The Corrections Department says the women had a pickup that matched the vehicle taken from the job site. Well, fewer kids in Kelloland will have to go hungry during the school day thanks to the efforts of a Sioux Falls restaurant. The Barrel House hosted its annual Hungry Hearts fundraiser on Saturday. The business opened up its parking lot for a live auction, inflatables, a rock wall, and a dunk tank. All the money raised at this event goes to the Hungry Hearts nonprofit that makes sure kids in need get a hot meal at school. There's a lot of kids that are less fortunate, so we want to make sure they get fed and, you know, they may only have one meal a day. So I guess they can uh, hopefully thank the Barrel House for giving them a hot meal. Last year, the event raised $125,000. Organizers are hoping to top that amount this year. A woman in Mitchell is taking on the job of running her own ice cream truck business. You can find Amber Erickson or her family rolling through the streets delivering ice cream to anyone who waves them down. Coming up in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, we hear from Erickson about why she decided to scoop up this business opportunity. Be sure to watch on Kelloland Weekend News at 10. Well, a wet start to the day across parts of Kelloland. Meteorologist Grant Smith is tracking the chances of more thunderstorms in the forecast. Good morning, Grant. Yes, Pear, we are seeing some uh, showers and some drizzle in eastern Kelloland this morning, and then some uh, rain also moving into parts of northwestern South Dakota this morning. All of that should fade out this morning. And then later on today, we're going to have this cold front that, as of the overnight hours, it's been moving through Montana, still sitting out there near Billings. That's going to overtake that stationary front and bring us some thunderstorms later today. So your forecast here, what can you expect? We've got morning rain clears out and then storms later today into tonight. Temperatures today topping out in the 70s in the east, 80s in the west, and your seven-day forecast has much cooler weather on the way. Lots of highs in the 70s. We'll talk about that here in just a couple minutes. All right, thank you, Grant. Well, Jam Against Hunger is an afternoon of music to benefit feeding South Dakota. The free all-ages concert goes from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Terrace Park Band Shell in Sioux Falls. You're asked to bring a non-perishable food donation for feeding South Dakota. Augustana Lutheran Church and Pueblo del Dios are hosting a block party, party fiesta from 10 to 2. The free fiesta includes a bilingual worship and blessings of the backpacks, plus games, music, and food from Central America and North America. Augustana Lutheran is located at 235 North Prairie in Sioux Falls. Coast to Coast Sports and Fitness is hosting a Coastin' for Cancer functional run starting at 10 a.m. at Cherry Rock Park in Sioux Falls. Proceeds will support the JY6 Foundation, which is dedicated to raising funds for pediatric cancer research. Customers at the Empire Mall can take a break from shopping to enjoy carnival rides. The rides are operating in the mall parking lot from 1 to 11. Bring a lawn chair and enjoy live music as part of Sunday in the Vineyard at Wild Prairie Winery in Brandon. The hours are from 2 to 5. Admission is free. Sangria Sunday at Straw Bale Winery in Renner features South Dakota wines and live music from 1 to 4. Admission is $5 a person or $10 a carload. 
Find your way through 11 acres of twists and turns at the Heartland Country Corn Maze. The hours are from noon to 5. The maze is located east of Harrisburg on South Dakota Highway 11. Grant? All right, our forecast for today includes a cold front swinging through. It's going to be a late day event. I'm going to hear by Future Scan Forecast places the cold front in central South Dakota. And as it swings through, it's going to be bringing us some strong to severe storms with the uh, bullseye of severe weather in the central and northeastern uh, counties of uh, South Dakota. Main concerns uh, will be wind and hail, so strong wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, and uh, hail at least one inch in diameter. And there is a low risk for tornadoes and heavy rain just because we we can't completely rule out those things. We're not expecting them, but we just can't completely rule them out. And the uh, risk for heavy rain that could lead to localized flooding, that's just centered over uh, kind of the northeastern to eastern regions of uh, Keller Land. So your future scan forecast kind of help you get an idea. Uh, first of all, the morning rain, which is being overdone by overestimated by here by the future scan forecast, that moves out this morning. And then thunderstorms fire up out in the west. In the northwestern uh, counties of South Dakota, and then they'll move from west to east, eventually arriving in central South Dakota late in the afternoon or early evening, and they'll continue to move to the east, eventually arriving into eastern South Dakota by say about 10 o'clock or so, uh, and then moving, continuing to move to the east throughout the overnight. The cold front still lingers around in the west, so we'll see some reinitiation in the west. But then by Monday morning, just seeing leftover showers mainly in the southeast, and then all that exits the area uh, during the early morning hours, and then the afternoon looking at staying dry. As far as the amounts of rainfall, the average kind of the computer models here placing the heaviest rain in the east and the northeast, and a little spottier areas in the west. So if we kind of averaged it all out, you're kind of looking at uh, most areas gain about a quarter to three quarters of an inch. The higher end amounts where the heavier storms will pop up, thus you're pushing more of a one inch kind of amount. Uh, and then the west, more spotty rain, so averaging to less than a quarter inch. But if you get under one of the thunderstorms, yeah, you'll get more than a quarter inch. Uh, so your forecast here kind of sum it all up. Most a cloud to cloudy skies in the east. Highs will be in the 70s. Sunshine in the west. Highs in the 80s. And that cold front will swing through, bringing in those thunderstorms late this afternoon into tonight. So those thunderstorms will move from west to east as temperatures cool to the 60s. Cooler 50s behind the cold front. And then tomorrow, leftover rain in the morning clears out, mostly sunny in the afternoon. We can't completely rule out some very random, isolated, small uh, little showers that will develop in the uh, wake of the cold front. But overall, looking at staying dry and mostly sunny in the afternoon. And then the rest of your seven day stays with highs in the 70s through next weekend for the Sioux Falls area. Also, next chance for rain will be on Friday. For the Northeast, Aberdeen reaching highs in the low to mid 70s. Northeastern South Dakota could actually see highs in the 60s later this week, way below average for this time of year. And they're also looking at staying dry once we get through Monday morning. Uh, for the Pier area, mid to upper 70s. Next chance for rain is on Friday. Could be pushing near 80 degrees next weekend, though. And western South Dakota, low to mid 70s to start the work week, mid to upper 70s to finish the seven day. Next chance for rain is on Friday. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.